ambulatory phlebectomy. The third procedure performed in the clinic is ambulatory phlebectomy. Ambulatory phlebectomy is the actual removal of superficial bulging veins. Using a special light or ultrasound, the vein to be removed will be mapped out with a marker. Once the veins are mapped out, your skin will be prepped and draped in sterile fashion. A local anesthetic will then be injected to numb the area surrounding the bulging veins. Once the region is numb, several small two to three millimeter incisions will be made along the length of diseased veins. The doctor then inserts a hook-like tool into the incisions and the vein is simply removed. Upon completion of the procedure, steer strips are applied to close the incisions. A medical grade compression stocking is then placed over the leg and you will be released to go home. You will experience some bruising and pain following phlebectomy. The pain usually lasts for approximately one to two weeks. Most patients can use ibuprofen and acetaminophen for pain control and to speed recovery. If the pain is not relieved by ibuprofen or acetaminophen, a prescription for a stronger pain medication may be given. In addition to a pain medication, an antibiotic will be prescribed for approximately five to seven days to reduce the risk of infection. It is important to keep the incisions clean and dry for at least five days following the procedure to prevent infection and to speed healing. You will return to the clinic for a one month follow-up to re-evaluate the success of the phlebectomy and to determine if any further treatment is warranted. Varicose veins can impair your lifestyle. They can slow you down and cause pain and soreness. With the help of a qualified vein specialist and modern vein disease treatments, you can beat vein disease. We hope this video has helped you to understand varicose veins and the procedures available to treat it. If you have any further questions, please ask your physician.